English. Okay, so to, today we are going to see how to write letters. Okay, so we are going to learn some tricks how to write, write a letter. So I'm sharing the screen. Okay, so how to write a letter? So what is letter first of all? So letter we used to write previously, but in today's world also some other other place we require letters. Okay, so that's why we have to write letters. So how many types how many types of letters are there so there are two types of letters okay so first one is first one is formal letters and second one is informal letters okay so there are two types of letters formal letters and informal letters now what do you mean by formal letters when do we write formal letters and when do we write informal letters so that we are going to see today formal letters formal letters we we write for the official purpose when do we write formal letters we write formal letters for the official purpose now what is official purpose for example we write formal letters to collectors we also write formal letters to editors we also write formal letters to manager and we also write formal letters to directors for example here we can see we can write formal letters to our teachers to our principal and if it is in uh, if it is in delhi or if it is in mumbai so you can write mumbai okay so in short you have to write that address okay so after that you have to write the subject. So what is subject? Subject means why you are writing letter to the editor. So for example, regarding ban the loudspeaker. So we may, we may see now Ganpati festivals are also coming. We may see loudspeakers everywhere. So there should be time limit for the loudspeakers. Okay. So if it is for late night, so you can, you can write a complaint. Okay, so you can write a letter of complaint to the editor. So it is regarding ban the loudspeaker. Okay, so so this is the this is the format you have to keep in mind. First is address, then date, then to to whom you are writing the letter and the address. Okay, then you have to write the subject. Subject is regarding ban the loudspeaker so this is the example i have taken regarding ban the loudspeaker next you have to when you are starting the letter okay so when you are starting the letter you have to write uh it is respected sir okay respected sir or respected madam you cannot say dear sir dear madam dear is we use it for the friend or family members so when you are writing formal letters you have to keep in mind it is very important you have to keep in mind you have to use respected word okay or such other words you can find out to write over here so respected sir respected madam is very important then how you can start the letter how you can start the letter okay so starting you can keep right now you are starting you are starting writing the letter writings okay so you can keep a common uh, starting for the formal letters so formal letters are usually used to write complaints okay 
formal letters are usually uh, used to write a complaint so whenever you are doing a complaint so you are drawing somebody's attention in that okay you want that somebody should uh, give their attention to your problem so how you will start the letter so how you will start the letter and how you will write i would like to draw your attention what you will write i would like to draw your attention so this is a start you can make okay so i would like to draw your attention so this is a start and in formal letters your formal letters should be very short it should not be big okay so within uh, within two small paragraphs you have to complete your formal letters within two short paragraph first you have to write the problem and then thankful that you have to write you will see in the next screen so uh, we'll see next just a minute all of you okay so here you can see see how the letter is written i would like to draw your attention then it is regarding ban the loudspeaker okay so you can write some sentences one or two sentences on this so i would like to draw your attention that in our area you can you can write like this i am giving you idea so in your own words you have to write okay so uh, i would like to draw your attention that in our area where i stay there is lots of uh, there are loudspeaker till the late night so i would request you to please look into this matter okay so in short you have to write like this so you can write in your own words and then how you will end end the uh, letter is i shall be thankful to you i shall be thankful to you why we are writing this this is the second paragraph you have to end with this okay so i shall be thankful to you if you listen to my problem so i shall be thankful to you okay and then how you will end the formal letter is your sincerely and your name okay so your faithfully your sincerely your truly so these are the words you can use to end the letter so your sincerely and you the letter if you are writing the letter then you have to write your name okay so this is the format of formal letter so only five, four to five things you have to keep in mind first on the left hand side onwards you have to start this is a new format of writing a letters so you should keep in mind that i have to write my address first then i will write the date okay so this two things happen address date then to whom you are writing and the address third thing then fourth thing is subject then fifth thing is your respected sir that salutation should be given and then the main paragraph and the ending paragraph and then ending is your sincerely and your name five to six points you have to keep in mind to write a formal letter so easily you can write any letters okay and subject is very important see your subject regarding ban the loudspeaker okay for example if you want to take a leave in your school okay if you want to go to your village okay for four to five days for ganpati vacation so how you will write the subject who will tell me what subject you will write in short you have to write who will tell me what subject you will write over there mem kaun sa wala dekho ye this is the example regarding ban the loud speaker okay so अगर तुम लोगों को स्कूल के लिए छुट्टी लेना है गणपति वेकेशन इफ यू वांट गणपति का हॉलीडे गणपति हॉलीडेज आर देयर बट इफ यू वांट मोर हॉलीडेज सो इफ यू वांट टू राइट अ लेटर टू योर टीचर दैट आई वांट आई वांट हॉलीडे मोर ओके सो व्हाट व्हाट सब्जेक्ट यू विल राइट इन द लेटर
मिस एप्लीकेशन लेटर एप्लीकेशन लेटर ओके कैन समबडी एल्स टेल मी व्हाट एल्स यू कैन राइट गुड अटेम्प्ट गुड अटेम्प्ट फॉर्मल लेटर मैम फॉर्मल लेट सी दिस इज अ टाइप ऑफ योर लेटर दिस यू कैन नॉट राइट फॉर्मल लेटर फॉर्मल लेटर ये एक टाइप है ओके सब्जेक्ट लिखना है तुम लोगों को सब्जेक्ट वॉट सब्जेक्ट यू विल राइट तुम लोग को छुट्टी चाहिए तो टीचर को लेटर लिखना है तो छुट्टी का सब्जेक्ट क्या लिखोगे रिगार्डिंग टू स्कूल रिगार्डिंग वॉट स्कूल वेकेशन रिगार्डिंग स्कूल नो यू वॉन्ट टू टेक सी स्कूल वेकेशन नो यू वॉन्ट टू टेक लीव ओके यू वॉन्ट टू टेक लीव सो वॉट यू विल राइट यस स्कूल हॉलीडे स्कूल नो स्कूल हॉलीडे यू वॉन्ट टू टेक यू वॉन्ट टू टेक लीव सो यू कैन राइट लीव एप्लीकेशन ओके so leave application you can write so what is your subject regarding leave application okay so this is a way you can write so good attempt you are trying see six standard onwards if you are thinking of letter writing it's very difficult and you have given a good attempt of uh, saying all these things subjects i like it okay so still uh, still more you have to think on this that is you can write as leave application simple you will write leave application regarding leave application so you can write respected teacher or respected sir respected madam and i would like to draw your attention that i would like to take uh, four to five days of leaves for ganpati as i am going to my village okay so in this way you can write the letter okay so this example we have seen so we'll see next screen okay so next type is informal letters now what is informal letters to whom we write the informal letters okay informal letters are very simple okay informal letters you can write to your friends you can write to your relatives okay so these are called as informal letters informal letters you can write to your near and dear ones those who are near to your hearts those who are near to you so to to them you can write informal letters and formal letters to the official it is used for official purpose okay so formal letters are very short and simple short and little bit uh, difficult in uh, writing but informal letters is very easy and the way the you can write in any way okay but that little bit you have to follow some instruction how to write informal letters okay so first the same way you have to write your address okay then followed by your date how you will write the date 14 june 2 2020 or 14 june 2021 so whatever date is there whenever you are writing the letter you have to write the date you have to write that date okay so and the format of date see the technique of how to write a date okay it's very important in 9th uh, and 10th standard also uh, it will be very useful to you so learn from now onwards how to write the letters okay so dear okay informal letters so i can write this informal letter to my father to my mother to my brother to my sister to my auntie to my uncle okay to my friends okay i can write this letter to my family members and to my relatives okay so very simple here you don't have to write any subject and to whom you are writing you don't have to write their address okay just you have to write your address first if i am writing the letter i i will write my address okay then i if i will write the date date is very important because when you are writing the letter is very important okay so date you have to mention 
after that you will straight away write dear father okay so for relatives and for family members you can use dear okay so dear father dear mother dear grandfather dear grandmother okay so dear auntie dear uncle dear sister dear brother so this way you can write so to whom to whom you are writing the letter you can write this way okay so what start you will make for informal letter so what do you think what your family members will ask you what if you meet your family member after a long time so what is the first question they ask you how are you how are you very good so they ask you how are you how is your health so okay so so think so your family member is asking this way to you okay so you will reply you will write in letter i am fine here and hope you also be fine there so you can start your informal in this way okay so i am fine here okay so they are asking you can imagine they are asking you question how are you so how you can reply is i am fine here and hope you you also be fine there okay so this way you can write the first sentence this way you can start your letter okay so after that you can write your uh, the way you want to write the informal letter what you want to talk to your father that you can write in this okay what do you want to uh, talk to your brother so you can write over here so you can tell see i am fine here and hope you also be fine then so right now uh, my school like my school holidays are going on and we are studying online classes okay so we attend online lectures so this way you can if your father is out of india out of mumbai and he is working somewhere so you can write letter to your father okay so you if you are if you are writing letter to your sister also you can write this way so so you can tell what is going on at present okay in your home so you can write everything and you can send to your family members so we share everything with your with our family members right so the way you want to write the letter you can write the letter so let's see like the next screen okay can you see the screen all of you how informal letter is what is the format of informal letter see first address date dear father i am fine here and hope you also be fine there then whatever story you want to tell to your father that you will write then after that the next uh, paragraph convey my regards to all family members so if you are studying out of uh, out of mumbai if you are out of mumbai and your family is here so you can write letter to your family members so you are writing letter to your father and everybody is there over there okay so you can write convey my regards to all my family members okay so see you when you grown up so if you want to study and if you want to go somewhere else out of mumbai to study out of india to study so you can write letter to your uh, parents okay so then what you will write is your loving son and your name so in formal letters you cannot write your loving in formal letters you have to write your sincerely your faithfully and uh, your truly that way you have to write in formal letters in informal letters this this is the family member so your loving son okay so like this you can write so this is the difference between formal and informal letters okay so in informal letter you can write your loving son uh and what else you can write okay okay you have to think all these things and you you will tell me uh, this this is your homework assignment okay what other words you can use over here so here the example is your loving son okay and your name okay so this is the way you have to write the informal letter okay all of you so 
it's very simple in for informal letter you have to write address date dear father that and then you have to write your main content and then you have to end up with your loving son or your name okay so this is a very simple technique you have to keep in mind so if you get the option to write formal and informal letter so which letter you will write formal letter or the informal letter if you all get the option to write formal letters and informal letters which letter you will write to prefer you will write formal letter or informal letter what question miss okay my question to you is if in exam okay in in your english paper there are two types of letters two headings are given one is formal letter and second is informal letter first letter if you have to means for example write a letter to the editor okay regarding ban the loudspeaker and second is write a letter to your father and tell about tell about your ganpati vacation so which letter you will write first or second letter you will write which will be easy for you to write informal letter formal letter formal letter very good i want to listen this only because formal letter is difficult to write but it is very easy if you know the technique of writing the formal letter you will easily write formal letters okay and informal letters you can write any time okay if if you will you if you can write formal letters it is very easy for you to write informal letters very nice okay so these are the examples this is the example of formal letter see address first it is written then date then to to whom it is written to the collector and it is regarding ban the loudspeaker then respected sir and the main content is given and then ending two lines are given then thanking you you are faithfully and your name okay so this is the way you have to write formal letters okay so very easy so always try to attempt formal letters okay in your exam so whenever in your exam in your english paper if formal letter comes and informal letter comes and they will give you option write any one letter out of these two so try to attempt formal letters okay so you will score maximum marks in this if you try to attempt formal letters okay so this is a uh, this is an example of formal letter i will show you an uh, example of informal letter also so this is a uh, example of informal letter so address then date address and date then dear friend so it is written to a friend so the i am fine here and hope you will you are also fine and then the some matter is given and then thanking you yours lovingly okay yours lovingly and the name is written okay so this is the way you have to write a letter have you understood how to write the letters formal and informal letter okay so today's assignment is you have to write a formal letter that uh, regarding ban the loudspeaker so you will write a letter to the editor okay so that you have to complete the format which i have shown you this format
okay so this format you have to complete okay formal letter same same subject regarding ban the loudspeaker so you are telling to the editor of the newspaper okay so this you have to complete so wherever dot dots are there so you have to complete all this thing okay so this is your assignment this letter you have to write okay this one letter you have to write and the second is And second is this informal letter. You are writing a letter to your father. Okay. So whatever subject you can think is, for example, you are there out of Mumbai and your family is in Mumbai. So you are writing to your father. Okay. So you will tell the situation how it is out of Mumbai. How how the Mumbai. Okay, so you have to write this informal letter also. Okay, so this these are your assignment. These two are your assignment. Okay, thank you, students. Mm, yes, teacher. Uh, the which you showed that letter, no, that was uh, blurred. So can you send that in group? Okay, okay, I will send. Uh, and if you can make PDF, PPT or PDF, no, then it will be very easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, I've taken uh, photos, no. So uh, yeah, that was the children are messaging me that the letter pattern mm -hmm. is something like blurred type. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I will send. Okay. So should I end up now? Yes.